Welcome back. A ring of fire eclipse will be visible this weekend as long as our skies stay clear enough to see it. And here to explain what that is, is NASA Outreach and Engagement Partnerships Manager Anita Day. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So tomorrow there will be an annual sol annular solar eclipse. What is the ring of fire? So an annular solar eclipse, just like any solar eclipse, is when the moon moves in front of the sun. But in this case, the angles are such that the moon doesn't cover the sun completely. So we'll be able to see that ring of fire. Um, it's a little bit of the sun that peeks out from around the moon, and that's what that ring of fire refers to. And that's where the word annular comes from. It's just Latin uh, for ring. Oh, got it. So for us here in our region, we're outside the path for that annular eclipse. So we're only gonna see a partial one. What does that mean that we should expect here? Everybody in the contiguous 48 states will get a little bit of something. So I believe you'll be getting a little bit of a nibble out of the sun. So that means uh, if you want to see it, uh, just like everybody else everywhere else, you need to view the sun safely. Uh, we should never look at the sun directly anyway. Uh, but in this case, when we're more tempted to, to look up at the sun, you should definitely use solar viewing glasses um, that filters out the harmful light of the sun, protects our eyes. Or you can use an indirect viewing method uh, that um, lets you lets you project, you know, maybe a pinhole projector lets you look at the at the eclipse indirectly. Now, eclipses are also scientifically valuable. So, what kind of special science is NASA doing during the upcoming eclipse? Tomorrow, there are going to be three sounding rockets that get launched, and one is going to launch uh, just before the eclipse. Another is going to launch during the eclipse, and the last will launch just after the eclipse to look at how our atmosphere changes when the the energy of the sun, that solar energy is cut off abruptly. It's different than the transition, the gradual transition between night and day. So this, um, these sounding rockets will look at the change in the ionosphere um, because it reacts to solar energy. So they'll look at how, um, how that changes um, during the eclipse. And there's also opportunity for everybody to do some citizen science during the eclipse. Uh, there are lots of citizen science projects if you go to our website go.nasa.gov slash eclipse. You'll see all of our heliophysics projects, the study of the sun, those projects. Eclipse one's in there too. There's one in particular um, that's really useful for tomorrow, um, Globe Observer. You can look at, um, you can take observations and feed them using your phone uh, into the system so NASA can gather data. You can record the change in temperature you can record the change in clouds. Um, so that's all valuable data to see how the eclipse affects our environment. And I know we're all eagerly awaiting the big eclipse in April that's gonna come right over us here in Northern Vermont. How will that one be different than the one this weekend? Yeah, so that, that will be spectacular. Um, you're very lucky to be there in the past. Um, so that is when the moon is going to cover the sun completely. So there will be a few moments uh, where people will be able to take off their glasses or look at the sun directly. Um, when the sun is completely covered, that is safe. And at that point, you'll be able to see the corona. That's the sun's atmosphere. These little wispy streaks, white wispy streaks. And um, that's very valuable scientifically as well because we're not able to see the corona uh, when, when the sun is out, it's too bright. But with this coverage, we'll be able to see the corona. So it'll be a very special time, uh, complete darkness for a few minutes if you're in the path. And again, uh, citizen scientists will be able to observe the changes in the environment during those few minutes. And again, that is for the April one this weekend, though. Everybody here needs to remember their solar viewing glasses. Thank Absolutely. you so much for the time and enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much.